exporting is hugely important for manufacturers in the UK and especially here in the, in the West Midlands. Birmingham has always been a city of a thousand trades and I think in this sense it means training internationally. And what we see in the survey is how important exports are to UK and Midlands manufacturers and also how important it is going forward in providing a stimulus with the depreciation of sterling. You know, we can really see, I think, an export-led recovery potentially coming through. Exports are exceedingly important to Midlands manufacturers. If we just take two examples, Jaguar Land Rover exports over 75% of its sales and the highest, uh, second highest uh, territory is China. Another of company I, I, I heard of recently is in the fibres area and, then, and they, in fact, uh, have had a, quite a tough time in this, in this recession with having laid off a third of their workforce. But now, business has picked up so much that in fact they've, they've rehired all their individuals and they are now developing their business through an export-led drive. And a lot, of get, a lot of that export is again to China. So it's sending fibres of China, but then not for those products to come back as clothes here, but to be sold in the local marketplace. What the survey showed us was the challenges that they face. And the biggest challenge was actually constantly cutting costs and competing on price. And that's a challenge they've risen to, but that's very much an ongoing process. What I think the survey told us as well were the difficulties of getting into overseas markets, the cost of marketing and sales there, but also how to get around regulations and red tape. And I think if there's one area that the government could do to help exporters, it's in getting into overseas markets. I think one of the other things that we see with regards to um, middle manufacturers is that it's very patchy. So those that export uh, do it very well, those that are not quite there yet still are very cautious about how to export. And they're not taking account of some of the opportunities that are available out in the marketplace, in the global marketplace, because of the fact that they, they feel a bit uh, cautious. And one of the things that they, are, they need to be thinking about is, is getting support. And UKTI is uh, the government uh, body where you can get support for export. And particularly SMEs should be tapping into the, the wealth of knowledge that they have in building contacts overseas. If we look at the exporting side, then actually the respondents in the survey were pretty positive. They were fairly pleased with what the government is doing. I think the government could be giving more support in terms of how to access overseas markets, advice and support on marketing and how to deal with regulations. Much more generally, I'd like to see a much more supportive industrial policy, things like a part-time wage subsidy, more money to stimulate new sectors. And we know what the growth sectors will be, low-carbon technology, for example. So I'd like to see much more cooperation between government and industry about building successful technologies in the future.